Welcome back to Let's Play Overlord. I have long since lost, lost count of how many times I've tried to finish this last uh, mission of Overlord. The big mission that the whole game leads up to. I mean, you can actually... I think, at least, you can actually get through the entire game, not really shoot down anything, not really... Um, do anything in any of those other missions so long as you just survive until the 6th of June and still get this final mission that really decides a win or lose in the game. Um, just trying to get some altitude on these guys but I'm about to stall out so let's level up. Um, this is the big one, this is the one that's important. Um, for the last umpteen number of tries, the game has mostly crashed. Uh, and then I won't lie, I've been shot down a fair number of times here. And then the game has often crashed. <laughs> uh, well, not that many, but a few. And certainly also, um, I've struggled with technical things, getting the recording to actually work. I recorded one entire game. That was the very first game I, I tried, of course. Won it then, but then my microphone wasn't working and I couldn't get a recording. And I don't dare to fix on one of these guys, because there are too many of them. They sort of together, it's too easy to get shot down by one. You're targeting the other. So. To improve my aiming, though I'm not. Well, somebody got him. If I didn't, let's just try and get back up. My wing wingmen are making short work of them. It sounds like either that that or they are themselves being made short work of. Oh. Okay, there's someone eight miles over there. That might be also where our ships are. I don't think so. I think the shipping is also behind me, so I don't think these guys are having a field day with any of our ships. It does look like it's a squadron, or a flight rather, uh, for Call of the 190s. Aircraft sh shaking. Actually, I think it's much larger because of the camera thing. like that when I just fire some rounds, I can't get some decent shots and they survive. I just keep turning and turning and that's easy enough but it's just too hard. Getting shots at them somehow. Oh he's smoking for some reason. Um guess some of my hits must have done some damage here. Oh, that's good. I thought he was going to get a shot on me there. So I distracted by the other guy for a bit. Doing this sort of scissors thing. Oh, and he's. Now he's turning the other way. He's actually doing a fairly good job of this. 
to get behind me and I'm really slow. Badly smoking plane. One loop in, which is really Spitfire does best of it. Does do pretty well. Oh, finally. I was down to pure luck though. He was almost crashed me there. Oh, what is wingman on my tail? I'm turning again. One hit out of all those rounds, that's a waste of ammo. Don't have enough ammo to keep doing that. Spray him on like that. Well, I thought those rounds didn't look like I was shooting him. Right, that was my wingman getting him. And I, I cleared out because I don't want to get down by friendly fire. Awesome. So I think I got one and everyone else was shut down by the others. That's fine by me. I don't have like any particular need to be the top ace of the day. I just need... You see down there, you see, you see those green sort of dots there on the beach? Down there. That, I think, is our, uh, our landing ships landing on the Norman beaches. And there aren't any more fighters in the area, if I can try to look for ground targets of opportunity. Can't find that either, but my sort of... Oh, there is the, the mission objective. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch to autopilot actually. So I think what I'm supposed to, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, or supposed to do now is sort of do um, kind of um, don't really know what to call this, but a kind of mission sort of just trying to just. Patrolling, I suppose, the area, making sure no other German fighters approach, and being up here, you get those expl those flak explosions, quite dangerous. Um, still can't see any ground targets or anything for me to strike. So I'm going to hit. Tab key and see if we can fast forward a little bit. No, I couldn't do that. It's probably because of all the flak. That system holding it down. You know, it gives small, small increments. I trust my autopilot isn't going to crash me to the ground. I'm flying really low now. Yeah, and that is my ground target now, actually. It's patrolling. This really low altitude patrolling is what I'm doing. There aren't any targets here for me to strafe, so I guess I'm just sort of fighting reconnaissance and cover for the invasion. I'm going to try to do that on autopilot, and, and we've got more, more anti-air. off for this, let's so rev, rev up the ending, and Jen. Fine. Weave a bit from side to side. Hopefully that will help me dodge the fire coming my way. Also getting a bit more altitude. Again, I'm 
hopefully I'm at, I've, I've passed the worst of the anti-air now. That's what the other Spitfire is. Ground target, still that village town thing over there. And I'm apparently doing another sort of flyby, which unfortunately takes me into the range of more of that anti-air, which I don't really like. I especially don't like going any slower than I have to. That just makes me an easier target. Guess I'm sort of patrolling this town. To see if there's any enemy forces here or anything that will pose a problem to our invasion task force. And yeah. Sooner or later some of those anti-air would start heading me. And there as well, that's bad. Which engine power I've got now. About two thirds, I'd say. Surely by now I must finish my patrolling duties. Just let the autopilot take over. No crap, flying in for another going in for another flyby there? Really? The other spit no, the other spitfires are like look like they've left. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Stuff and a shot up plane. I'm not actually gonna let that the autopilot, uh, which of course doesn't exist, there is no such thing as an autopilot on these World War II planes, it's just um, letting the, the game take over the flying form. But nope, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna head for home. Or at least for where the other Spitfires are. Well, that guy is actually might still be around, around in France, but I'm badly shut up and stuff, so I'll feel like that Spitfire that's going home. I mean, I've only got a little bit more than half of my engine power anyway, so hanging around at low altitude really is not a very good idea anymore. I, I'm been able to gather any intel, well then I wasn't able to gather any intel, and that's just how it is. Um, I'm just gonna take one last sort of look at the beaches, because if you notice those great things off in the distance, that's like the landing craft. So the invasion is, is kicking and I'm going to take this half tanked, half shot to bits Spitfire home now. on the ground good luck because I think we at least chased off the love spot. And the mission. Yes, apparently the Allies met little resistance so a beachhead is secured and the invasion has begun. A magnificent day! The invasion is now in full swing. Our job changes now to close air support. Get over to Ops for the debrief. So that's uh, close support of the ground troops, I suppose, from the air, rather than uh, sort of air superiority and then ground uh, softening over France. I like this little fanfare at the end. I do believe it's the only place in the game we get to hear it. But there it's open. There it's over, sorry. And uh, we get to the 
ops room. I don't think there's much point going over campaign status and stuff. We did that on the 5th of June and it hasn't even changed much. The interesting thing is the invasion news. After a short but successful air campaign, the AEAF, that is the Allied Expeditionary Air Force, can claim victory over the Luftwaffe. Air superiority has allowed the ground to be thoroughly prepared for the invasion with the destruction of coastal batteries, bridges, and marshalling yards. And yes, actually, bridges, that was that was awesome. I uh, never was able to, to hit the bridges with, with dive bombs back in the day when I was playing this, but I've been able to do that this time around, which is cool. Although the towns have suffered, the French people recognised that it was a necessary precursor to liberation. As a result of the successful air campaign, liberation was possible, and landings on the Normandy coast started this morning. They have progressed through the day with little resistance. The bridgehead is secure. And extensive offshore docking platforms called mulberries are being put into place. This has secured the supply lines which will allow the Allies to make a decisive drive onwards towards, eventually, Berlin itself. Right! So that's it. Um, uh, we've... Uh, Still at the F, the Tangway airfield. Um, Sandy Wallace wrote in his diary today that uh, limped back with holes as big as fists, but well, we did it! And he's off to the boozy now to celebrate. Cool. Um, let's see. But there isn't really. So we're still here at Tangway, uh, but operations are. Well, there are no operations to take part in. And I suppose there is no tower mission to... and no flight. Except, don't you think you have done enough for today, at least? Well, we get into the bedroom, but we can't sleep until the next day, because basically this is the game ending! So, if you've been following the series, or, well, if you watched any of the series, a big thank you! I've certainly had an awful lot of fun going back to this um, game from my youth. Because uh, I sort of grew up on those stories of the brave allied fighter pilots in World War II. Um, not just, just the Battle of Britain ones either. Um, as Norwegian, I remember picking up uh, book the library about Norwegian fighter pilots, uh, Spitfire pilots actually, because there were a few of them. Uh, like there was like one, of, I think it was like two, maybe three squadrons uh, counted as Norwegian squadrons. And mostly, mostly they flew Spitfires, and they trained in Canada. Uh, these were people who had uh, escaped Norway after the uh, Germans uh, occupied the country, and gone off to fight the Germans from elsewhere, so they were mostly trained in Canada, and then some of them saw saw action over France uh, in 1944, actually. So that may have been another reason why I, I sort of got interested into this particular World War II flight game, although um, well, I do remember reading all that, book, that, that old book and enjoying it, um, but we'll enjoying maybe isn't the right word. Being extremely fascinated by it is perhaps more the word. Um, and I think that was... It wasn't just, of course, those Norwegian fighter pilots. It was the whole World War II fighter pilot thing. I also grew up on those little small format uh, comic books with sort of heroic fighter pilots. Um, and of course, the the story of the Battle of Britain is, you know, one of those heroic or glorious hero stories of the few, you know, who fought off the Luftwaffe. So I've always I've, I've taken an interest in World War Two aviation ever, ever since, and um, this has really given me an opportunity. This game to to go back and be a bit nostalgic. Uh, as for the game, well. A uh, bit of a verdict on that. It's well, it's been able to keep me 
playing it again for uh, what 60 odd episodes or something uh, so it's still enjoyable at least to me with my background and having played it played it before it's <clears throat> it's not that accurate uh, a representation of the actual planes um, you know the the, the German fighters is just these endless turn fights on I'm um, in the German fighters get involved in and well that's in itself there's nothing wrong with that um because in 1944 the, the Luftwaffe had suffered pretty big casualties and they didn't have those experienced pilots so maybe they would get into silly turn fights uh, with the British planes and they w if they did they were quite likely to lose that because um Spitfires were very maneuverable planes um, but there are other things like there being air brakes uh, on the planes. I don't think all these planes actually had air brakes. Um, but I could have used them a lot more though, um, just to, to stop the plane on all those times where I'm overshooting. If I hit the B key and, and braked, I would have been able to stay on the tail for so long. But it just given that the actual Spitfires and Mustangs didn't, as far as I know, have air brakes. Um, it just felt like it, like like abusing to use that. Um, I think actually, yeah, one of the most enjoyable things here was actually ground attacks. Uh, escort missions always being a bit odd, but the, the fact that you can drop dive bombs and stuff, although the, the impact of cannons on buildings in this game is just uh, <laughs> hilariously unrealistic. Like a, a single fighter can take out an entire airfield in like two runs just using cannons. I was like, yeah, right. But then again, since the bombers never do the job, <laughs> I guess it's a decent sort of... Um, um, It's what you're left with, basically. It's sort of the the what you have to do if you want to knock out those airfields. So, um, but now I'm I'm onto my ranting again. I think it's my usual case of finishing and a let's play, and then not really then being a little bit nostalgic about the let's play, even though the let's play itself was nostalgic this time, and I just don't want to end it too fast. But I don't have a lot more stuff to say except again. Big thanks to everyone to who watched, or commented, or or uh, left a like uh, on the series. I guess I should say that I'm my channel is still continuing with all let's plays. Uh, be get, I'll be getting back to my to my uh, role playing games eventually. Though, if if uh, World War Two aviation games, or at least. Well, retro World War II war games is your cup of tea, then keep your eyes peeled, because um, I'm going to try and, and get some more of that stuff uh, in on the channel. Um, whether it's going to be aviation, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure about. There might be a bit of a follow-up to this series in, in that respect as well. Um, <laughs> we'll have to wait, to, to wait and see. No big announcements at the end here, just... Um, Just an invitation, an open invitation, that my uh, channel is going to continue even though, even though this let's play is closing, and uh, there might be more stuff that you would enjoy. So keep your eyes peeled. If not, I mean, by all means, if for some reason this was the game you you wanted to watch, and, and everything else I do is. Uh, re relevant or boring to you? Fine, by all means. Um, thanks for the ride and enjoy whatever else you're planning on doing. But, uh, and big thanks for watching this series anyway. So, yeah, that's it, I think. As I usually say in my role playing videos, um, until the next video, go in peace and uh, live and let live.